grateful. Yes. I'm grateful because we're not ready to let go of the show yet. Parang um, uh, bitin pa. Yeah, so I know. we're just so happy na may extension because mm-hmm. some of the combos we can still do it again. Yeah. And then we're so just, you know, clinging to one another to do the show. <laughs> I know. I know. It's true. Yeah. And I think we're just really grateful that we can continue to share the show with more people. Because I know a lot of people have seen the film. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're just so grateful that we can bring it to the theater. So we hope to see more of you at the theater. Yes. Yeah. I think because of the social media then right now because you know sometimes whenever we see some achievements from other people from mm-hmm. our friends and then we tend to put pressure on ourselves to really oh dapat uh, gusto ko din ng ganito mm-hmm. gusto ko din ng ganyan pero oh, uy bata pa lang siya meron na siyang ganito so i think this story resonates well to them because parang we don't need to like stress ourselves in achieving those because we have our own timeline we have our own paths in life so mm-hmm. we just really need to just enjoy our life you know continue continue to strive you know and be the best that we can be yeah and i think just going off of what you said now mm-hmm. you mentioned time yes kasi, especially when we're approaching the age of like 30 yes. there's the i know the quarter life crisis kasi. so parang a lot of us can resonate with that na, oh my gosh i'm turning 25 i'm turning 30 and i should mm-hmm. already have this accomplished at this time and at the same time a lot of us have dreams that seem so far-fetched and just yep. seem like impossible and it's hard so a lot of us can resonate with jonathan larson and uh, he was taking this like not tradition you know a traditionary road Mm -hmm. where you know a lot of us are in the same boat you know as artists especially um, where it's like oh I could easily just do this but I could just do this harder route and follow my dreams it's harder but in the end it will always be worth it so that's why I think people can resonate with the message of the show even though it's based in the 90s it's still super relevant yeah I think he he broke the stereotypes of you know of musicals Mm -hmm. parang ngayon since a uh, fan of Stephen Sondheim, the first, the first thing that I've realized when I studied his songs are talagang merong merong mga bakas or marks ni Stephen Sondheim don, and it's just grateful, you know. It's just so uh, parang very happy. I'm happy to really study his works because, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's something new that I could really learn from. You know, yeah. parang studying. A rock musical, parang it's also beautiful as like a studying a uh, standard musical or parang mga ibang Broadway that kind of songs. Diba? Yeah, yeah, it's very different. And I think because of Jonathan Larson, he paved the route for like yep. Lin Manuel Miranda, mm-hmm. who went against the grain of what is traditionally seen in the theater. He opened the door for people like him, and because of him, all these you know genius works have been created. Tick, tick, boom, Rent, um, and then of course like In the Heights, um, Hamilton, of course. So. Um, it just it teaches us also just to don't you don't have to stick with the traditionary yeah. route but go against the grain and don't be afraid to try that even yeah. if it takes like diba, five years or however long it takes if it's something that you truly believe in eventually others will see that and they'll also believe in it yeah. and that yeah. courage and passion you yeah. know talagang he's so dedicated and nakaka inspired din mm-hmm. as an artist to really just stick sa gusto mong gawin sa kung ano kung saan kang passionate yeah. and then the people will see and appreciate it yeah hi guys my name is Vian King and I play the role of Michael and many more <laughs> yes plus 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 I'm also Kayla Rivera and I play the role of Susan and Caressa and also plus 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 but yes we are inviting you to come watch Tick Tick Boom that is currently being staged at RCBC Plaza Carlos P. Romulo Auditorium until September, September 3rd yeah. and tickets are available at ticket to me.net so yes. see you all there and make sure to follow Nine Works on their socials that's at, that's at 9 WT online, online. hashtag yes. tick tick boom MNL yes thank you guys see you at the theater